When it comes to auditory cues on a public transit commute, perhaps none are more familiar to Americans than a rote announcement declaring the name of the station in a robotic voice. As it turns out, the rest of the world is a bit more open about its use of music and how they alert passengers. Today we will sample some of this audio and look at how using it helps the visually impaired in Japan and elsewhere get to where they need to go. Since Japan has been the widest and most varied adopter, I thought we would take a look at them first. It all started with Keihan Railways in the 1970s, Osaka. The company decided to experiment with adding jingles rather than the standard bell sounds. They had thought it would attract more passengers and provide for a more appealing auditory environment on their operated lines. Japan is huge on domestic tourism, with each city and region having some unique fruit or festival or vegetable, so why not have unique train music? The company hired composer Mukaya Minoru to develop jingles utilized for the railway system. He produced pieces of no more than 10 seconds long. Let's sample a few of these to get a feel for how they sound on a typical commute. The first examples we will see are from the Keihan operated stations in and around Osaka. Our next examples come from the Ring Line in Tokyo. Now look, I am by no means a student of music, but this music just brings a sense of calm to me. The pieces are upbeat, but not frenetic. From my sampling of station photographs for this video, many utilize a similar color palette, and so having these auditory cues makes differentiating stations a lot more clear. In an article written for ABC Australia, the composer is quoted as saying, There is a huge number of people who take the train into the metropolitan areas such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya, and it's necessary to get people off in a short time. While they were designed to get people on and off the train faster, these audio clips also aid the visually impaired, providing a clear signal to those who otherwise wouldn't be able to read signage or have an idea of where they are. Japanese trains get packed during rush hour, and so hearing an announcement is a lot harder than you would think. If you can remember the jingle on your way in, you can immediately know which station you're at or where you're going next. Japan was the pioneer in embracing the train jingle and influenced others in developing it with their own systems. The Taipei Metro in Taiwan has also experimented as recently as 2016. More metro systems around the world should adopt this kind of alert system. In addition to helping the visually impaired to get where they need to go, it might make commuters less stressful and the stations less utilitarian in feeling. Personally, I would love to see the different military bands compete over who gets to make a jingle for Pentagon Station in Northern Virginia. In a more serious way, it can lead to local culture being shown off and appreciated. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the music alert system. Has your local metro adopted something similar? Before I sign off for tonight, I just wanted to thank you all for the support you've shown in this last week. My channel has grown beyond what I ever thought imaginable, and I have high hopes for the future. 